Welcome to my channel, Know and Awaken, your soul's unlimited potential. My name is Eva, and if you're watching this today, I just want to say Merry Christmas. Like for me, I'm uploading this video on the 24th, so I don't know when you're tuning in. So if you're tuning in before, Merry Christmas to you if you're tuning in after. Hope you had an enjoyable Christmas and Boxing Day and, you know, an amazing holiday for yourself, you know. You know, Christmas is usually a time for spending with loved ones and just having fun, reconnecting with people you have probably not connected with for such a long time. And I love this time, honestly. I love spending time with loved ones and all the merriment that you get into during this time. So I'm wishing you happy holidays if you're watching this. And... Today I actually want to touch a little bit about that, especially because I also know that this time of the year is where a lot of people get triggered, especially when they're not having those kind of relationships or loved relationships around them that they would want to have with them right now. You know, I do realize that there are a section of people who don't have the best kind of relationship with their family. And that's kind of like what I want to touch into. Okay. So... What I want to talk about this is because here is if you've watched my channel, I'm and I hope you have, and I hope you've tuned into a lot of the videos and a lot of the insights that I share. I've mentioned this a couple of times before. I do work with the Akashic Records, and one thing that I learned during my journey, both with myself and also with my clients, it's the fact that you actually incarnate to a place that are, that is a vibrational match to who you are at soul level. So many people assume that maybe they were born in the wrong family. Maybe they were born in the wrong race. Maybe they were born in the wrong country, right? Because it's always greener on the other side. But wherever you currently are right now, whatever you were born into, there was no mistake in that. And this might get so difficult for you to even hear right now if you're struggling with that pain. And you don't have to accept this for yourself right now, okay? It might ring true for you later on once you've done a lot of healing work for yourself because I also took a long time for me to accept this for myself. Remember that it's always, we're here to grow and evolve and it's always happening in stages. But what I want to tell you is that you actually chose to incarnate where you currently are. You chose all these people around you. You chose your mother, you chose your father, you chose your brother, you chose your sister, you chose your best friend. Okay, that that is something that happened. If you want to actually dive deep into this, that would really explain this further in a way that I might not be able to do this in this video. Check out a book called Journey of Souls by a guy called... Michael, okay, I don't know the second name. I always forget the second name for some reason. But if you just Google Journey of Souls, that is such a powerful book that will open your mind in a whole different way. I will really explain this topic further for you. What I want to talk about this is that a lot of the pain and the betrayal that we've experienced with our loved ones, it's what has kept a lot of people stuck in their lives. Okay, like for example, if you had a father who was maybe not present in your life and maybe our parent, not necessarily your father, a parent was not present in your life growing up and you're holding on to that heart and that betrayal and that feeling of like you are not enough to keep your parent there with you and always judging yourself. And then you find that you carry that even to your relationships with your partners right now that you project that relationship you had with your parents to your partner meaning that you're probably always living in a feeling of when is my partner ever gonna leave you know will they leave the same with my father or my mother left are they always gonna choose me and all of that and i want to tell you that if you're struggling with that that it is if you're watching this that it is time to let that go because if you chose your father if you chose your mother, you probably also chose those experiences. And there's a reason why if you went through a particular difficult childhood, maybe there's a reason for that. And I'm not doing this to excuse any kind of negative behavior because nothing, I'm not excusing anything. But what people really get lost in, they get lost in the pain and they forget to tap into the lessons that they were supposed to learn from that. 
okay remember you cannot control the actions of another person we all come here and we're all given free will so we might have had the best of intentions with the people around us but based on you know us forgetting who we are and life happening as it is that we end up hurting each other in the worst imaginable way and this is why i'm telling you to go check out the book journey of souls because it's really gonna explain so much for you but what i want to say is that actually in the book they talk about how when we are on the spirit side that we actually uh, we have a soul group family that we get to grow and evolve with. So meaning that with in your soul group family, all of you have played different roles in each other's lives in different lifetimes. Probably the person that you're calling your mother right now in another lifetime, that was your child. Probably the person you're calling your brother right now in another lifetime, could that have been your husband, your sister, who knows? Probably the person that you're calling your best friend right now in another lifetime, could that have been your husband or your wife you know i'm just gonna show it like we keep on interchanging roles depending on what our soul chooses to learn in this lifetime okay so probably when you're on the spirit side you could have had an agreement with these people that they were meant to do certain things to you to help you tap into a certain lesson for your soul to grow and evolve okay but what happens when you're here is that we forget that first of all and we only attach to that pain and we forget the lessons that we're supposed to learn from that pain okay so if maybe you were abandoned by your father maybe the reason for that was for you to realize that i didn't need my father for me to be whole within myself to feel whole and completely enough as i am you don't need another person to tap into that lesson for yourself okay but what people do is that they will always have that feeling of something is missing and something is wrong with me because I went through that pain. Right? Always, always being attached to that pain. And they don't realize that once I let go of that, maybe I needed to go through that so that I can reconnect with myself and remember that I was always whole, whole to begin with. There was nothing wrong with me. And that was a lesson that I needed to learn based on that pain. And this is why I talk so much about forgiveness and letting go. Because for once you're still holding on to the betrayal and the trauma and all that, you always keep, keep, keep on recreating that for yourself. Because it means that you haven't learned the lesson that you were supposed to learn. And the minute you learn that lesson for yourself, trust me, all these painful experiences will stop happening because you've tapped into what your soul came here to learn through this incarnation. But the minute you're fully disconnected and fully distracted by getting lost in that pain and getting lost and not remembering the lessons, you're always going to keep on, you know, your soul will keep on attracting all those circumstances and experiences to help you remember. So it's all, it's all a game. If you've, if you've been in the development world and you've tapped into spiritual teachers, you, I'm sure you've had this done that it's just a game. Life is just a game. You know, you get to the other side and it kind of hits you like, why was I so attached to this? It doesn't make sense when you're on the other side. But when you're here, it just seems like it's everything. Everything you're going through right now is like the absolute worst, right? And when you're looking at it from a higher perspective, you realize that your experiences are actually not as big as you'd want them to be. And you have to really, really start tapping into this higher perspective in order to tap into wholeness and healing for yourself. But as long as you're in, in deep, and still letting yourself get dragged and distracted with all the pain, you're never going to tap into that. And you'll keep on getting stuck there. No matter what you do, you'll always attract the same people. You'll literally be the same person, just in a different body. The same experiences, just in different players, okay? So what I want you to also look at is that we are all playing roles in our lives. Like literally, we're just acting our lives, okay? So if at all you've attracted people who've betrayed you remember that is the role that your soul hired them to do they were meant to betray you to help you learn right but people forget that they are just acting they assume that they are the character within that movie okay so another analogy you will look at is that when you're looking at a movie okay that will really put this into perspective when you're looking at a movie right and you're looking at the actor playing that role when you look at the actor in real life they're completely different from that role that they're playing because remember, the 
the role they're playing on film it's fake it's fantasy it's just a fiction of your mind right to how to entertain you which is the same thing we're doing in our life right now we're all acting our roles and the person directing this movie at the back end of it it's your soul it's your higher self that's making you and directing you to go to these places and act a certain way and attract this kind of people and have people playing certain roles in your life to help you learn, to help you grow and revolve. But what people do is that they attach themselves so much to that character, they get lost in their character, the role that they're playing, that they actually forget who they are. And if you're watching this, I know that you know there's something deeper to you than this physical experience that you're seeing. So don't get attached to that. And the minute you tap into this lesson for yourself, so now with the people around you, maybe the people who betrayed you and who've hurt you so much in the past, can you assign them the same roles as well? That they were just playing a character? That's not who they really are. Remember, with your soul, you're already everything with soul. You're already whole with your soul. You already know everything. You don't need to heal as a soul. You're already perfect as you are as a soul. It's only that when you come into the physical experience, we just forget who we are, okay? So, but if you were assigned and just look at whatever pain that they caused you, that was just a role that they were playing in your life, that's not necessarily who they are. It becomes easier for you to let go of that betrayal, right? And realize that the reason they did that is because, first of all, my higher self hired them to do that. My higher self hired them because they were the best for them, for me to learn this lesson this way, Okay? It might have been painful because maybe that was the only way that our soul would have listened, but it was still necessary. And once you do that, then it's easier to just forgive them for whatever pain that they caused and move on with your life. Not holding on to that and getting stuck in that over and over and over again. Okay, so always, always just start having that kind of perspective with yourself that you're just a player, you're just an actor in this movie that we call life. You're not the real person behind that actor, right? You're not, you, you're, sorry, I actually said that incorrectly. You're the person who's directing everything behind the scene. That consciousness, that awareness, that's the real you. This physical being, that's just the actor version of you. Don't attach too much to that. And also give that kind of grace to the people around you so that even if they betray you, it's always, always say that everything is working for me, not against me. So even if it's painful, it's only because you needed to learn that lesson that way. Because that, that is the only way you like, could have learned that lesson, through that pain. Because without the pain, most people are never working towards making themselves better. So we need the pain to make ourselves better. So forgive that pain and learn the lessons, okay? So I hope you've resonated with this. Comment with me down below if this message has resonated with you. Share with me what your favorite part about the message was and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed if you have subscribed to my channel and you've supported me this year i just want to say thank you thank you so much for your support for anyone who's watching this and you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe support the channel if you want to receive more insights more of my insight and also click on the notification bell that's next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any content that i upload on a weekly daily basis okay so if you don't want to miss out make sure that you subscribe to my channel for that and to say thank you so much for your support this year for your support in watching this video i have a beautiful gift for you in form of a quantum flow meditation which trust me this meditation is so beautifully designed to help you access in a state of calmness and bliss and serenity in just a couple of minutes so if maybe this is your struggle maybe your pain even the pain that maybe you're still holding on to the betrayal from your loved ones especially during this time this period of time you know during the holidays you can check out the quantum flow meditation because it's gonna help you with releasing all this pain within you and rewiring yourself so you can access higher states of being of peace of calmness of serenity okay so if at all you're struggling with the negative vibes check out the link down below the meditation is completely free for now okay so just register and you'll get the link to that in your inbox and to end my video as always and how my mission is just to help people remember who they are we connect them to their true selves, their souls, 
remember who they are so that they can create a better human experience for themselves not based on all the mistakes or all the negative karma that they've created for themselves based on their past self mistakes okay so if you're seeking more awareness of yourself especially going into the new year this is a beautiful way for you to get started in your new, new year so that you don't repeat the same mistakes probably you've made this year maybe you haven't made as much progress as you would have wanted to and soul realignment, which is the one modality I work with, based on working with Akashi Krakon, is a beautiful way to start a new year. Okay, so soul realignment actually gets to the root of who you are, your soul identity. Who are you at a soul level? What gifts do you actually have? These gifts that you have at a soul level are what you're supposed to tap into to create a better human experience. So many people have actually forgotten who they are based on all the society's influence, their family's influence, and they've completely forgotten who they were supposed to be originally. So if you have, you want to reconnect with that true past of you, part of you, connect to your gifts, awaken your gifts so that you can create a better human experience for yourself. If you want to get to the root cause of all the problems, all the experiences that you're currently having in your life, Right? If you're feeling that you've been stuck, nothing is moving, you keep on attracting the same people over and over again. If you want to get to the root cause of what lifetime cre started creating those patterns for your particular soul, you can do that with a soul element reading. So you get to identify the past life that created the pattern that you're seeing right now. You get to have awareness of the choices that you made in the past that you're still repeating now. Right? And by doing that, you actually get to heal all of this energetically and restore your soul back to its full integrity at a soul level. And by doing that, and also based on the awareness that the reading will give you, going forward, you'll be able to make better choices for yourself because now you'll have awareness of what choices have been creating those patterns for yourself. So if you're curious about this and you want to know more, you can book a discovery call with me, ask any questions you have with me. Or you can connect with me on Facebook or Instagram or if you're just ready to say yes so that you can start this new year with a new bang, with a new version of you, you can just go ahead and book a discovery, no sorry, book a session with me down below in the description box, okay? So the second modality I work with is called quantum flow. So quantum flow is all about rewiring your body at a physical level so that you can start into, you can tap into higher states of wellness in your physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, energetic well-being. So quantum flow incorporates the use of sound, breath, and movement to help with all of this. What you might not know if you're watching this is that if all the trauma and the emotional pain, all of that, that we've experienced all the way from birth until now, all of it is actually still recorded in your physical body. Okay, so in order to actually awaken a new version of you, you don't need to only work in your mindset. You also have to rewire that at a physical level, which is where a lot of people get stuck at. And quantum flow is a beautiful way to help you block, unblock all this stuckness within your physical being so that you can get the energy flowing again, open yourself up to higher states of manifestation, open yourself up so that you can receive higher guidance clearly because that channel also is also blocked for so many people. They're not able to tap into their intuition if the pineal gland is affected with all of these things that are happening in the environment. Their, their air they breathe, the water they drink, the food they eat and all of that, right? All of which cause blocks and blockages in your pineal gland. So if you want to get your pineal gland to be opened up so that you can receive higher intuition, higher guidance clearly from your guidance team, quantum flow can actually help you with that, okay? So... You can check out the link down below in the description box. Go ahead and book a session with me if you're ready to say yes to the new version of you. Or if you have more questions on this, you can connect with me on Facebook or Instagram. Ask any questions that you have for me. Or go ahead and book a discovery call and I hope I will get to meet you if you're watching this Sunday and help you in whatever way that I can. I'm sending you so much love and wishing you the happiest, happiest of holidays. And honestly, I just want to start the new year with a new bang. So if you're ready to make 2024 the best year of your life by making better choices, make sure that you connect with me so I can help you get started with that. Sending you so much love and I cannot wait to see you on the next video, which will be my last video for the year. I can't believe it's been a whole year, okay? So hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.